Hello and welcome to another Quality of Life Tools add-on demo. Um, this one is for the add-on called GridCut, which does exactly as you'd expect. You select an object and on your right-click menu, GridCut, right at the bottom of your right-click, and it will add a um, equilateral division in quads on all axes or whichever axis you choose. For example, this one only in the, the Z axis there, X and Y again. Um, why would you do this, you ask? Well, let's take an example here. Let's undo there. And for example, if you were going to do a displacement on things, uh, let's add a quick displacement to this one now. Displace them. <laughs> Quite not that crazy, possibly. And add a quick texture to it. Let's give it a new one. A clouds. That should do fine. And a wee little thing there. I mean, we can already see where that's going a, a little bit haywire. And what you would normally do to counter that would be you would add a uh, subdivision surface, add that before. Um, what, what that does, however, is let's just temporarily turn off the uh, displacement here. What that does, however, is adds uh, crazy amounts of polygons in tight places, as you see here. Everything gets divided unilaterally on based on the, the original polygon size. It just divides each polygon, which causes these crazy gluts of, of uh, groupings. Very, very ineffective and, and quite messy, actually. As well as stretch polygons, all that sort of thing. So let, let's just get rid of that for now and go back to adding a grid cut, which is equilateral and far, far, far cleaner for working on this kind of thing. Um, let's for now give it 0.5. And one of the things you will see here is we have a slider. I already have this set to 0.3. On the default settings, some, well, on any setting actually, sometimes you will get triangulation happening along an edge. And that's where the divider or the, the cut planes are doing what's called Z fighting with a very, very, very parallel surface. And what we can do to counter that usually is just slide along one of the axes a little bit so that it's giving it breathing room to work. And that's that's an internal blender thing, and that's fine. That's how things work every day. Uh, quantize is the option of making sure that things align to the grid wherever possible. We can see that by having a side view, uh, zooming in a little bit here. And as you see, these, these grid cuts are aligning to the, the actual grid that, that, uh, that the world has. So let's take this the uh, last step here. Give it many, many, many cuts. Let's give it uh, 0.1 in size. And hopefully, we'll, yeah, there we go. We hit the cut limit here. And what that's trying to do is save you from yourself a little bit, which is a good thing, believe me. You are suddenly going to add an awful lot of cuts. For which, once you're convinced that's going to be okay, you can raise the cut limit here. And for now, let's, let's, let's try 200. Oh, 3,200, that would crash things. And we should be fine with that one, I think. That's going to take a little longer, but any second now, we'll be there. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have given it so high. But there you go. As you see, it's nice and stable. Nothing nothing goes wrong there. And still, we don't get that, that crazy amount of polygons we used to have. Okay, I'm happy with that. We can commit to that. And now just turn off wireframe again. And once more, we can turn back on the displacement. And now you see we have the fidelity to do um, all of that, that sort of thing there. Okay, I think that should describe everything we, we uh, need to describe. I hope you like that. I, I hope you can see where, where this will be useful. Um, it certainly is for me on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Thank you, and bye-bye.